thought I'd give everybody a little project update on what I got going on with Steam Launch Artemis since the first video I put out. A lot has changed, but we figured out uh, quite a few of the different problems that I think we're going to have to deal with. So we'll start at the bow. So finally got the bow kind of opened up so I could assess the situation on the last little bit of the oak timbers, you know, leading from the keel to the uh, bow and all of those pieces that go in between there. So, so far, everything looks to be pretty stable and haven't been able to see any dry rot in all of these sections here. That piece that's right out there front, this has been cut off. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with that. Probably scarfing it better than just having a butt joint. That's a great place for water to get in. Gotta take care of that. This has been replaced at some point with a larger timber. And then you can see that iron V thing down there. Some of the other uh, bits and bobs, including one of my chisels. But that iron there uh, is definitely causing a problem. You can see where there's some iron sickness where the iron will actually react with the uh, tannins in the white oak. So I gotta get that pulled off because that is probably a spot where I'm gonna have to do some repair. You can see kind of a little bit more. I got the deck off the bow here. I was taking the deck off starting in the uh, stern section and then as I've worked my way forward here I've discovered more and more things uh, that need to be wrapped up about the boat. But anyway, up here, one problem immediately, we see that this piece, get that out of the way, <coughs> excuse me, this piece right here is actually cracked, allowing this to sink down just a hair. It's interesting, most of this wood that was built, or uh, used to build the upper structure here is what I think looks just like regular old 2x4s and framing lumber but anyway as I got the deck off the bow there were joints in here because this was just regular plywood with kind of like a rolled uh, rubberized roofing on it that's basically what I think it is but as I found those joints there was a lot of dry rot in the plywood and so I just chose to peel that all off there. I've got to fix this. They have like a kind of a corner looking thing here to shed water. And then the plywood actually slid kind of underneath that. So I made the first cut here with a, one of those little oscillating tools. That thing worked really good. And I'm going to come back and get the corner piece out and then cut this up as close as I can. And then I think the new plywood will actually sit kind of like on a rabbit or something in there I'll create. But anyway, that's the bow section. This very top piece of plank that's right here. Um, I don't know if it's original or what it is. This is actually um, oak here these are all softwood this is oak uh, interesting that it has kind of a green paint up here this would have been underneath the uh, rail on the sides but as we can see someone raised the the shear line of the boat up by this many about right there So every one of the frames, here's the actual frame itself, how that goes down in. Every one of the frames 
was steam bent into the boat originally but then someone added these posts right next to the frame and so that doesn't really go down all the way right there is where it ends and then they've got it screwed off here and then screwed to the frame um, itself there's a screw head starting to pop but so they raised the boat the shear line up and so if we look this this right here is about where the old shear line was when this was um, used as the whale boat so what I'm wondering is was she originally planked with this oak planking don't know maybe because the oak planking has these iron bolts through here and those are definitely in rough shape uh, and then this has all been replaced or was this done originally with an oak plank at the top I'm not really sure I don't know why they would mix the woods like that wood types but regardless regardless what I got to do is I got to get this whole plank off of here because it's been sawed up and then someone tried to put like a thin piece in here and then this right here is all sawed sideways and it's just a mess so this has all got to come off here and I got to get that straightened out that's that's probably where I'm headed next is at least to get this plank off and then once I get that plank off of there all the way down that'll let me start dealing with where I got to do the frames and such so this piece is where I got what I've gotten off excuse me from the aft section again you can just see where that iron anything that's iron and wood specifically white oak the tannins and the wood just destroy that so definitely not good on that aspect but everything down here these are all bronze fasteners so they they're not in near the you know shape that the this iron stuff is so what i had started doing then was just kind of assessing where I want totally new going all the way down from here all down to the keel some of these I may scarf because you know I got a couple problems here with the fastenings but from here down it's not in that bad of shape still trying to decide really what I'm going to do there or maybe come alongside it I don't know What I don't want to do is I don't think I want a bunch of excessive holes put into these planks because the planks are in fairly decent shape. Someone was not very gentle when they've reefed out the cotton. You can see where a lot of times it's like just gouged all out. Like they just took something really abrasive in there got that cotton out so I gotta there's one right there it just this should be flat or slightly beveled that's pretty well tore up but not sure yet on that but anyway the back decks off got this whole starboard side opened up interesting thing right here I didn't really realize how butted together the side was until um, I got this deck off and kind of started assessing all this. First thing that threw me off was as soon as I got the deck board off here, <clears throat> excuse me, every one of these through bolt things was sliced off and then that one was tucked right like that. This one was like that. And they were all hacked off here. And I don't know why, uh, but 
this uh, piece of wood right here, this is a piece of mahogany. This is that oak that I was talking about. So, and, and I don't think this is at the same height as this, which makes me think that this side, something happened here, whether it was hit or the dock damaged it or maybe when it was a battle on a battleship or hanging off of a large boat as a Navy whaleboat, something happened here to smash this section because then if you look, <clears throat> it's been put together here. There's a line here, here, all the way down. It's like a little working back with all these butt blocks. And then here, this is a short piece of plank there to there. Another short piece of plank from here to here, here to here. It, something broke here in this section and it was sawed off. Now, I guess... That kind of, now that I think of it, it was sawed off here for some reason, but did that all happen at the same time? I guess that would have been on in 1965. So maybe it did happen after it was put together as a steamboat. I don't know. But that area is very problematic right now. I don't know uh, how to solve some of these problems that I got here. So I've got to do some thinking on that. But the problem with it is, is that, <clears throat> excuse me, the boiler, the boiler, which you probably can't really see, but the boiler sets right there and the engine sets right there. So the problem is this frame, the original steam bent frame actually goes from this side, this point right here all the way down and comes up onto the other side. It's one piece of wood that was originally put into the boat. And then about, yeah, I don't know, somewhere up in the this section here, it switches to where they just butt down into a pocket along the keel. But, so where do you cut it? Don't know. Should I go from one side to the other? Maybe, but how do you get you know, a piece of wood that big inside there and up in each side and then steam bent and <clears throat> yeah, I'm just not really sure how to solve that problem yet. But from about right here to right here, every one of these frames is broken and every one of them, and they're broken right at the build string or right at the turn here, turn of the bilge. Every one of them is broken, and every one of them it goes underneath the engine and boiler. So getting that piece of wood wound underneath there is going to prove to be challenging. So what I started doing is there is a hatch. This will be inside the window, so it's a little bit of a bad shot, but there is a hatch right there that I've got off of the roof and I pulled the stack off and all the plumbing on top. That way, if I have to, I could jack the boiler up or lift the boiler up just a smidge to try to get the weight off of the bottom. The engine sets right there. I would have to do the same thing, but maybe not. Maybe if I can pass it down underneath get it in place right next to the old frame just not sure yet what i gotta you know do with that so that's what that's one of the problems at least in this area so i'm gonna work on the starboard side first i have been um jacking the boat up i've got more supports built now let's see i've got a four by four going across the floor with these supports put in same thing back here So I've got um, everything now is resting on these blocks and the blocks are sitting on the floor and the keel, excuse me, uh, yeah, the keel and the boat itself are really starting to flatten out and take a much better shape uh, now that I got everybody kind of supported correctly. 
not perfectly flat but definitely way better than it was hanging on the trailer with the bow sinking down and the uh, deadwood here and all that sinking down real bad um, so anyway what yeah, all the weights off the steel frame so this is just hanging out my plan is to possibly get that out of there build more of these cradles because this side where I was going with the story was this side is misshapen compared to the port side so what I want to do is use the port side as kind of my pattern for the correct turn and sweep here and then once I get this side reshapen then I can work on the other side because it will be it's already shaped the correct way but here's a good example right here where see where that pad sat this boat actually sinks in right here and then comes back down because all these frames right here well half of them aren't even there anymore but those are all cracked so the planking is kind of shrunken in so I got to figure that out how do I get that you know pop back out where it's supposed to be um, but the other side thankfully is still nice and fair and it's not crushed the frames are still good on that side so I can use that as my proper curvature to try to match up the two sides and then once I get both sides matched up like I said I'll build more of the cradles in here to support the shape of the boat but haven't done much inside um, other than just stripping more stuff out that's in the way cleaning up a little bit opened up the boiler on the on this side so you can kind of see the tubes a little bit back in there real real sooty you know that fuel oil burner thing must have really been sooty at one point well, all those tubes are just covered in soot so I'll get that cleaned out and vacuumed out I'll probably come in here and start vacuuming out the bilge just a lot of a lot of scrap and stuff from monkeying around in here <clears throat> but not much going on in here just first order of business is to fix the frames get the support of the boat put back together and then then uh, then I'll address the planking at that point and figure out what to do with it a lot of these that are budded what's gonna have to happen I think is you gotta dig this dig that out of there scarf this this plank runs all the way to the bow scarf it here and then one continuous piece of wood would be scarfed back to here. That way it'll be ten times as strong as it is now. And virtually you won't even know it's there because it won't be butted together. It's, it's coming at an angle um, is how those will be scarfed. So. <clears throat> got another little project going on in the garage this is a 1955 uh, Chris Craft sea skiff 18 feet long uh, so this boat is not going to see water but it is going to be either a sandbox or a some sort of play set area thing I don't know I haven't dreamt it up completely yet but it has this is a what they call lap straight construction I see how the planks overlap like such you know there's no there's not really a caulk line in here this is actually nailed these are plywood unlike Artemis where the planks come you know butt flat right up against each other so this is how it <clears throat> it's shaping with it planks overlapping each other so they would start at the bottom and then overlap all the way to the top 
But anyway, this boat, uh, unfortunately, I think someone, I don't know, at least from the paperwork that I got with it, I got it from a guy in Kalamazoo and uh, got it for super, super, super cheap, paid $200 for the whole thing, trailer, everything. Um, but he got it from somebody in Muskegon and it, it sounds like it was their dream to restore it, but they just never had the funds and the money to really do it. In the papers, it shows that it was for sale mm, late 2000s and I think it was, or maybe it was 2015. I can't remember, but anyway, it shows it was for sale around that time for three grand still in unrestored condition and then uh but but much more together when when i got it most of this stuff had all actually been peeled off and it was all this setting in here where someone took it apart but anyway someone uh sold it around that time and then the last registration i found in and i think it was for 1995 so likely you know, she hasn't seen water for many years either. Um, but they put a bunch of money into the engine in 1995, several thousand. But then there was no engine in it when I got it. So I'm not really sure what happened there. But the problem with this boat is that it, it got a ton of rot actually on the uh, planks down here. The garboard plank and parts of the... Uh, gripe here this yeah, is all kind of punky but there was a nest in here and I don't know whether this happened because of that nest or water leaking or what but bow is kind of nasty and then uh, there's definitely dry rot around here um, let's see what else the the, the uh, front covering boards or deck I got to replace those those were all soft like I'm just using some plywood and then this was this had dry rot all through here in this corner of the transom it's all rotted out junk that's what this is Replaced all that. Replaced in here. So, got that all figured out. Just stained this yesterday. And then this side I've been working on. Got to fill some screw holes and some other areas. But, it's not in too bad a shape. And the sides rotted out down there as well. But there's uh, almost all these frames in the middle on this side are broken. Dry rotted out. You can see where they've sistered them together. Or tried to. A lot of it's not even done that well. But all sistered together on this side. Even some of the sistering back there is broken. And then that side's nothing's been done to it but I haven't really poked around that much because this isn't going in the water so the point of this boat is uh, we've got a place where we want to have a little play area I love old wood boats so I want to make something that shows that so what I got to do is I'm going to put this deck on put the windshield back on I gotta get a piece of glass for this side. Put this all together. This is just gonna get painted with like an exterior white house paint. And then polyurethane, the, or varnish rather, the transom. And kind of just paint it, you know. And then I've got the original lights. I've got the original um, searchlight, the running light. The gauge set all that in it so then what i want to do is i'm going to get a 12 volt power supply for outdoor lights and probably stick that up in here somewhere to keep it waterproofed or try to keep 
what little bit of water I can off of it. And then I want to get all the lights running. And we're going to set this baby in the backyard. And then, like I said, either I'm going to make it like a swing set around it or play set or a sandbox or something. I don't know. Somehow incorporate it um, and make it into a kid's play area. I might have a dock. That way you could have a dock that you can get down into it or something. I don't know. But that's my idea with this. I'll keep chugging away at it and we'll see what happens with it. I've been working on this for about two weeks. It was totally painted white when it came in here. Um, like I said earlier, not all the wood was put together on it, but a lot of pieces. And I cleaned out a bunch of junk back here. So I'm probably going to maybe sell this fuel tank. I don't know. Some of this stuff I'm sure somebody restoring one of these Chris Crafts would enjoy having. This, I think that's an original fuel tank. There's a couple, there's a rudder. Some of these other pieces that I know I'm not going to need for a play area. And then all the prop. And then another rudder. That's all in there. Some other hardware. Uh, the steering wheel and the gear levers up there as well. But probably pull some of that out and sell it. Just don't really need it because it's going to be sitting in the yard. And just showing off itself so anyway that's the update on artemis and the wood boat projects going on here so we will keep chugging along and see what progress we can make over the next couple months